Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the third day of December. James Spann here, and will it snow this weekend? That's the big question everybody's asking, and let's just get right to it and talk about it. As we often do, we'll take a look at the Skycam shots first. It's uh, cloudy and chilly this morning. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam, where the state high school football championships will be played uh, out there today and tomorrow. And if you're headed to a game, just bundle up. It'll be cold. We don't think that... Temperatures will get out of the 40s today and tomorrow. And of course, uh, during the night games, uh, it will be a bit colder. But uh, we don't expect any rain. That's the good news there. There's the uh, Clanton Sky Cam. That's the Clanton City Hall. And from the campus of the University of Montevallo. That's our Sky Cam down in uh, Shelby County. The uh, wave that brought the inclement weather yesterday well to the east stirred up quite a ruckus is expected across the eastern uh, third of the nation last night with severe weather and some flooding problems, but the oil is settling down this morning. And again, you can see we've still got a southwest flow aloft with a north flow at the surface, and that typically means kind of cloudy and cool weather, which is what we expect today and tomorrow. We're mostly in the 40s this morning, Birmingham at 43. The cold spot is Cullman, and we should sit in the 40s all day. Now, if the sun breaks out for any length of time, we might hit the low 50s. Uh, we should see a few peaks of some, but I don't, I don't think we see that much. So uh, we'll figure highs in the upper 40s today. Precipitation for the next five days, valid through uh, Monday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting barely enough to measure. And, of course, this is going to be snow Saturday morning, and that would suggest just a trace here, but... Again, uh, that remains to be seen. We'll look at the uh, winter weather graphics coming from HPC. This is for uh, tomorrow. Now, this is the chance of four inches of snow or more, at least four inches. And look at that uh, slight risk there from uh, near Houston, Texas, up through uh, central Louisiana and south Mississippi. How about that? And then Saturday... Pretty good risk there from the, the mountains of North Georgia on up to near New York City as the system rolls northeast. But let's get right down to modeling here and see what we're looking at here. Of course, Alabama not in any risk for four inches, and we don't expect that much. Uh, this is the uh, look at noon today at 500 millibars. Southwest flow aloft, big trough still well to the west. Uh, down below, again, cloudy and cool today. Don't expect any rain. Tomorrow, here comes the lobe of energy coming through west Texas and down below. The GFS is drier on this run, no doubt about that. It's still got some snow for South Texas, but not as much as we have seen in recent runs. But let's just get right to Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, if we have any fun in games here, that's when it would be happening. Uh, the GFS, and this is the 06Z run, is definitely drier. Uh, it's got the uh, uh, critical, uh, well, this is not a thickness value here. This is the freeze line at 850, which is a rain-snow indicator. In some cases, it's definitely way below us, so uh, no doubt it should be cold enough for snow. The question is the moisture, and this is suggesting maybe a few flakes and that's it. But that really is an outlier. The NAM is noticeably deeper with the moisture. The uh, rain-snow line is well south of Montgomery, and you can see that the better moisture axis for snow and maybe some light accumulating snow would be from, say, Thomasville to Prattville to Roanoke. And uh, that would suggest maybe some one to two inch amounts there. On the grass, the road should be just wet. The ground is relatively warm. We don't expect any travel problems one way or the other. But that should give you enough to make a snowman and have a snowball fight. The Canadian is definitely moist. And that would suggest potential for maybe one to two inches for Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and Anniston. And the European, very similar to the uh, Canadian. So uh, no doubt after the consistency we've seen over the past several runs, we're going to mention a chance of snow after midnight Friday night through about uh, uh, mid-morning Saturday with uh, potential in some spots for an inch or two. Not everybody will get that. Uh, we don't think there'll be any travel problems. This is mainly on grassy areas, but uh, we're going to go ahead and lean that way in the forecast. Just for the fun of it, uh, a couple of quick looks here. This is off of the uh, NAM. 
and you can see that it's got the band of, and then understand, now this is model output. We just caution you here. This is not a forecast, but this is some guidance we use. And this is suggesting potential for one inch. That's the, the darker shade you see there, about one inch for places like Selma, Clanton, Rockford, and then a little heavier strip over east central Alabama. And we kind of mentioned that in our forecast. Uh, Clay, Randolph, and Cleburne counties where they might pick up two inches there. And then everything else, it's just a dusting. It would include Birmingham and, and uh, Gadsden. And let's peek at the uh, GFS, very similar graphic. And uh, uh, this has got that potential for one inch uh, for Birmingham and then heavier amounts for Gadsden. I say heavier, that's two inches. So uh, no doubt we'll lean toward a one to two inch potential here. And there's the big picture coming off the NAM if you're traveling. Uh, and you can see the chance of the really heavier snow is northeast of the state. This uh, should not be some major winter storm we'll talk about for a long time. The heavier snows up in the high terrain of uh, the Great Smoky Mountains and then up through the uh, uh, parts of Virginia, up toward Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, and then ultimately uh, New York City and Boston. So there you go. Uh, looks like a fun way to start the weekend for the snow lovers. And then uh, midday Saturday, it's all ending and out of here. Sunday will be dry. Cold morning will be up around 50 Sunday afternoon with a pretty decent amount of sun. But the sun's not going to last long in this active pattern. There's Monday. Rain returns with uh, warm air advection and some up glide. Tuesday looks wet. And Wednesday, a very strong trough rotating through here. And down below, a deep surface low is north of us with the heavier rain moving east. That's suggesting maybe some active thunderstorms in here Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning. And then Thursday, a week from today, looks dry and cool. Mid-month, December 16th, shortwave over southeastern Texas, another Gulf low. Looks like it might be the winter season for those things. And if we miss the snowflakes uh, by chance Saturday morning, it looks like there certainly will be other opportunities down the line in this active pattern. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.